Alright dudes, I'm back and I missed you so much! Come here, give me a hug, bring it in! That's so science! Alright dudes, I kind of have a confession to make. I'm a bit of an evolution fangirl. Okay, I mean not a bit, I mean a lot. I fangirl about evolution often. Wait, the common ancestor is what? Oh my god, oh my god evolution, you did the thing! Wait, dinosaurs have feathers? Oh, that's so cool! I can't, I can't, I can't with the platypus. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Evolution, why are you so cool? You don't have to cry because you love evolution. Yes, we do. I love you, evolution. I love you. So why evolution is just freaking amazing in general, I do have one specific concept that is my favorite in all of evolutionary history. I love convergent evolution. Convergent evolution is when similar features arise independently in two separate species. And the following are my three favorite convergent evolution OTPs. Number one, cephalopods and humans. I mean, not, not the whole thing, just, just the eyes. I could talk about cephalopods all day, but I shouldn't because I'll probably freak my sister out. There is something about 20,000 leagues under the sea traumatizing her as a child. Now, we're not closely related on the tree of life. We're about as far different as you can imagine. We're just like crazily far apart, but yet here is a human eye and here is a cephalopod eye. See how similar they are? This feature is so similar in not only appearance, but function as well. The lens that refracts light and the pupil that helps constrict light. These are very complicated eyes, and yet they arose twice in two completely different species. That's crazy. Number two. All right, this one's a little bit more obvious, but still really cool. Sharks and dolphins. Take a look at this body plan. Take a look at this one. These two organisms are not closely related on the tree of life. One is a mammal and one is a fish. But yet, they look so similar. But these features both have the same function. They help the creature move efficiently through water. Last but not least, my favorite, bats and birds. Take a look at these two creatures. Notice anything similar? They both have wings. While they're not exactly similar in appearance at all, they both perform the same function, flight. And let me just let me just talk about bats for a second. They are mammals, but they fly. If you if you even try to say to me that bats are rats with wings, you're gonna get a stern talking to. So these features in each of these examples I just gave you are called analogous structures. Analogous meaning that they're similar in their function. They're not related. They're not cousins on the tree of life, but they do the same job. Mm, evolution. Evolution's just this little genius force of nature that creates amazing organisms. And I love convergent evolution. Right out, dudes. All right, so this is Julia Wilde signing out. Don't forget to like and comment below. That would be super duper. And hit me up on Twitter. Let me know what you guys want to hear about next. Star nosed mole. What? Nope. 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 No. No.